Alright, hey guys, it's me, Nettie.LPS here, back with another video, and I got some new LPS. Um, I think I got about 27, if I counted correctly, but, um, there are some really exciting ones for me here, and a lot of them are really, like, LPS that I wanted for a while, so I'm pretty excited about this today, and they did have a lot of main five pets there, but unfortunately I had most of them, so I only got two. Anyways, these videos are never meant to brag. I just found a place that sells OPS and I go there often to get more. But I hope you enjoy this haul. Anyways, let's get on with the OPS. Alright, so first we're going to be starting with the cheaper ones and then we'll get on to the more expensive ones. Alright, so first off we got this little polar bear and unfortunately it is really marked up. Which is really a shame because I love this bear so much. And I've actually wanted it for quite a while, but I'm happy nonetheless. Um... It has really pretty purple eyes, which I never really noticed that they were this shade of purple. And it has a blue magnet too, but I think this is a really unique looking bear in this mold. Um, cause I don't really see many that in this mold that have like purple eyes and stuff. All right, so next up is this hippo, which my neighbor had th has this one. And I always really, really liked it, and now I finally have it, and I'm so happy because this is my first hippo that I've ever gotten, and they are so cute. Like, they're so, like, chunky, and just, like, their poses are really cute, and this one in general is just probably one of the cuter ones out of them, because I know some of the hippos kind of look ugly. Okay, and then this next one is this sticker eye cow. He is really tall. And he has sticker eyes, and cows don't like to stand, so it's quite annoying, but um, I'm trying to collect all the sticker eye LPS, so that's why I buy them. I really like the emotion that it gives to them. Um, I recently just got my first cow LPS, and now I have a second one, and I'm really excited about that. For some of these LPS, people had fun with a marker with them, but I mean, that's not really anything that I can do, because marker on LPS is bad and I can't really get rid of it easily. All right, so next up is this little yellow gecko, and I love this gecko. This is probably one of my favorite ones, because like, first of all, it's got a cool color scheme, and also like, look at the texture on it. I've never seen a gecko with this texture, and the purple eyes just like tops it off. Like, I already really like the geckos to begin with, but this one too, and it's also got a unique eye shine shape. Not the big one, but the little one. Alright, and then we got this ferret, which I only have one ferret in this mold, and it is also, like, purple-ish. So, I mean, they can be sisters. I love the ferret so much, so, like, look at it. I also love whenever they do this thing with the eyes, that, like, the color flicks up into the actual thing. And this is such a cute ferret. I always really, really liked this one, and whenever I saw it, I was like, yes, I need to buy it. So, yeah, I'm super excited about this one, too. Alright, and then we have this little chinchilla, and I'm sure many people love these chinchillas, as you guys know. And, um, it's such a cute one. I mean, the eye shines are a bit weird with, like, the snowflakes, and there's a bird that won't shut up in the background, so I apologize about that. This one is, like, a grayish-brown, and I've actually never seen this one before. So, I mean, it's kind of cool that I found one that I've never seen, but I mean, I'm just kind of confused with this one. I feel like a lot of these LPS that I bought have purple eyes. Like seriously, bro. I don't really find many that have purple eyes, and then I found three so far. All right, and then here's this walrus, which this is one of my dream LPS, and I found it, and I was like, oh my gorsh so there's a sparkly walrus with a bunch of designs and i am absolutely loving this walrus um i don't really have many walruses to begin with but like this one is definitely my favorite walrus and it is just so pretty all right and then here's another chinchilla and it's another gray colored chinchilla with purple eyes wow but yeah here's this one as far as i know i don't have this one um, I definitely don't think I do, but if I do, then that's kind of sad. Um, I can just trade it to my neighbor, though, or give it to her. My old neighbor, LPS Eat the Chicken, which I did do a collab with her. 
Um, so yeah, here's this little chinchilla, really pretty. I love the little flower up there, and it's just such a cute design. All right, here is another like bear in this mold. These are more of like polar bears for me, but yeah, it's another purple colored pet or another pet with purple on it. Um, I swear there's a lot this time. So yeah, um, the eye is a bit weird and I have no idea what this garbage is. Um, it's a lot more visible on camera, which kind of sucks, but um, I got some of it off, but I just can't get the rest of it off. But yeah, here's this little purple polar bear. I do think that on the head is a bit weird, but I mean, whatever, you can barely even see it from the front, like seriously, bro. All right, and then there's one of these Angora bunnies, which this is actually my first ever Angora bunny, and I've never actually seen this one before. So this is a new mold for me, and it's so plain, yet cute. And it has rust that I couldn't get off. It's like dyed into the plastic, which always sucks when that happens. But you know, that's just what happens sometimes. People get rust on the pets and then they never clean it off. But I absolutely love Angora bunnies, and I'm so happy that I finally got one. Oh, all right, next up is this dang ostrich, which it's in rough shape, but again, it's another new type of pet for me. And the back of its head is absolutely filthy and disgusting, but I mean, I couldn't get that all off because dirt got dyed into the dang plastic. But again, it's another sticker eye pet, and as you know, I'm trying to get them off. So yeah, I mean, I think it's a cute design, but the sticker eyes just make it look ridiculous and funny, and I love it. I'm here for it. All right, next up is this little seahorse, which I absolutely love this seahorse. Um, there are many seahorses that are really cute that I've never really seen before, because I don't really like look at the seahorse as much, but um, this is one that is really pretty and cute. And yeah. All right, and next up is this butterfly, and I love butterflies. I personally collect them and own a lot. Oh gosh. But anyways, I collect and own a bunch of butterflies, and I just couldn't pass up this one because she is really pretty. In my collab with LPS Eat the Chicken, you will see another pink butterfly that has designs on it. And I think um, they can be related or something. I don't know. I just have a boatload and I don't know why I love them so much. It's just something with their face. It's really cute. Kind of looks like a turtle. Kind of looks more like a turtle than a turtle does. Like the turtle LPS. That's kind of weird. All right, so this next one is another one of my dream LPS. I stinging got an alligator. Um, I already had two, but now I have three. And I'm screaming so much right now. I want all the alligators, and I'm one step closer to getting all the alligators. And this one is so cute. Like, oh my dog, seriously, bro. Like, actually, look at it. And, like, their pattern on the back is so cute. And like, look at their bellies. Like, oh my gosh, they're so cute. These are like some of the most perfect LPS molds that were ever created. And if you would disagree with me, um, I will personally come and fight you. Like, come and fight me right now if you disagree. I won't hesitate. All right, next up is this penguin. Um, it's another LPS with snowflakes in the eyes, which is pretty cute. And I absolutely love this penguin. It's so cute, yet so simple. And Am I, like, the only person who ever notices that, like, these penguin LPS have a big head? Like, look. It's like a big head like, for their little body. But, yeah, anyways, this penguin is just really cute. And I love the little tuft of hair on their heads. Alright, next up is this little kangaroo. Um, its mouth is weird. And the color is a bit interesting, but, I mean, it was one that I didn't have, so I bought it. Um... But yeah, for some reason there's like stains on the back and I don't know why. I didn't notice that when I bought it though. And it has like a stain right there. Right there. But I mean, whatever. It's it's a toy. So it's going to happen eventually. They don't really stay in perfect condition because they're meant for children. But anyways, um, it's got a really pretty color green in its eyes. Like, girl. Alright, then up next is this little hermit crab. It's got a really cute design and it's another one that I've actually really been wanting for a while. Like, look at this. It's so pretty and I love the color green in its eyes again. So, I mean, I'm really excited to have it now. Like, seriously. I mean, like, girl. Girl. 
Alright, the next up is this ant eater. Um, I absolutely love ant eaters. Now I have two, unfortunately. I only have two. But um I really love this one. I want the brown one too, because that one is probably like one of my favorite ones. But I mean like another purple pet, like girl. And then this one I'm thinking like Bro, it's a lion. It's my first lion and he's so tall. Like look at him compared to Falcon. Like bro, he is so dang tall, but looks really nice. Like actually bro. Like the designs are perfect. And I believe it's a postcard pet. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um Alright, next up is another one that I've been wanting for a while, which is this little panda. And I have a lot of pink pandas. So, I mean, like, this one is probably my favorite because, like, the eyes are really pretty and the design is pretty. Unfortunately, it does have a lot of pen on it, but, I mean, again, these were owned by kids, most, mostly, but, I mean, it's gonna happen eventually if they get played with. Alright, and the next up is probably one of the cutest LPS I've ever seen. Like, oh my gosh. The dang seal with a polar bear hat. I did take the polar bear hat off to clean it but like with the polar bear hat on it's much better but like seriously it's really top heavy though but it's such a cute pet and the polar bear hat just makes it 10 times better like seriously all right so now we are moving on to the more expensive pets all right so first off is this little dog all right so there is this dog dalmatian and i absolutely love these molds and this is probably one of my favorites out of the mold of course um there are like other there's another one that i like more but um the glitter pets are just really cute in general and there were actually a lot of glitter pets there today and i'm honestly surprised all right next up is this bonbon cat all right so there here is this bonbon cat and it is colored like a tiger but the only thing is is i have my lps by my mom's house organized by like dogs and cats and then other do I put this one in other or do I put it in dogs and cats? Like seriously, because it's in a bonbon cat mold, but it's colored as a tiger. So I honestly don't know. I have another tiger one, but that one's by my dad's house. So I think I'll just put it in with cats and dogs. I don't know. All right, so next up is this German Shepherd. All right, so here's this German Shepherd. And this is such a cute German Shepherd, honestly. Um, cars just feel like passing by the second that I start recording. Thanks, I guess. But anyways, this is probably one of the cutest, cu cuterest, um, cutest German Shepherds um, in this mold. Uh, this one had some pretty bad rust when I got it, but I think I got it all off. Um, I tried my best, so if there's still some left, I apologize. But this one also had like silver marker on its face when I got it, but I also got that off. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. And then there's this puppy. Alright, so I got this puppy, and it was kind of expensive, honestly. Um, it was $14, but I mean, it's a puppy, and I love them, so that's why I got it. Um, it's really cute. It kind of reminds me of another one that I have, which is, like, kind of lighter, and it has, like, the same design. But, I mean, it's not the same, because it's got green eyes, and it looks different-ish. But yeah, here's this puppy. And then there's this paw-up cat. All right, so then there's this paw up cat, and it's like really cute. Um, I personally love paw up cats, and especially this one. I've always really liked this one um, because it was a part of the LPS game. There was an LPS game, and um, recently they have like completely removed it from the app store and made it so that it disappeared. So I mean, like I can't even play it anymore, honestly. Oh shoot, my LPS are blowing away in the bag but anyways i can't even play it anymore because they completely got rid of it and blocked it so i honestly don't know why it keeps saying that it's not available in my country but the thing is is it's just confusing because i was able to download it and play it but now i can't then we got a dang short hair cat like oh my god all right so here is this short hair cat which is known as sugar diamond's mascot i'm sure many of you guys know her as that so uh i think misty she's called but yeah here's this short hair cat which you should have seen me when i saw her when i like opened up the more expensive bin my jaw dropped the second that i saw her clear peg by the way i don't know if y'all can see it but clear peg it's 
place only sells authentic pets and I'm so excited. Also, her neck is slightly broken, <laughs> but we won't talk about that. And then we got one of my dream LPS, which this one I've wanted for so long. I've wanted it forever. It's a dang Cocker Spaniel. All right, so I've wanted this Cocker Spaniel forever and I've finally got it there. Like, oh my, oh God, bro. It had a horrible rusty neck and its neck is slightly broken, but like, honestly, I'm just happy that I got it. It's in pretty good condition otherwise. And seriously, oh my God. I straight up just got this Cocker Spaniel for like, I don't know, 18 singing dollars or something, like bro. Anyways, y'all, I hope you enjoyed that haul because I am stinging excited, especially for this bro. He's gonna be a big part of the channel. Um, I might start a series that, in that includes him, so yeah. Um, <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, I just heard someone scream like really loud and it didn't sound fake. But anyways, um, I'm gonna head inside, but bye guys.